Hello guys, Mr. Dandemon2050 here, welcome to another video guys, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you a £1,000 editing build. This guys is going to conclude all of the gaming builds I've been doing recently. And yeah, some of you guys have been wanting editing builds and yeah, just wanting to kind of figure out what's different, different between a gaming build and an editing build. Because as you guys are aware, you can edit on a gaming build very, very nicely indeed. But uh, you know, there's some differences with an editing build uh, that you'd want to make in terms of the fact that you would want more RAM. You, you would probably want more storage and then you'd probably want a more aggressive uh, uh, cooling solution for your CPU since your your CPU will be uh, rendering uh, you know a lot shall I say if you're into the editing kind of stuff. Now first of all guys for the CPU we're going to be grabbing the AMD FX9590. This is a 4.7 gigahertz part and turbo to 5 gigahertz. Chances are if you guys want to overclock it and just keep it at 5 gigahertz all the time feel free. But yeah you're getting a, a true 8 core processor. Service to 5 gigahertz as I've just said, and yeah, 16 megabytes of cache can make it very, very fast indeed. This CPU, guys, is £210 as you can see here. And as you can see down here, look, it does recommend that you have, um, you know, a water cooling closed loop CPU cooler as a kind of minimum, and that you use the chipset uh, 990FX. So talking about that, uh, we are going to be grabbing this motherboard here. This is the Gigabyte GA990FXA UD3. Now this is an AMD... Uh, 990FX motherboard. As you can see, a very nice motherboard for £100. It's a full-size ATX motherboard with socket AM3. This motherboard is absolutely loaded and quite frankly guys can support RAM up to 2133MHz. A maximum of 32 gigs of RAM. Has 4 USB 3s, 14 USB 2s, yes 14 USB 2s, 6 6 gigabit ports, 4 PCI Express Time 16s and may I go on. You also have support for SLI and also Crossfire. And yeah, you get your good old 8 channel earlier. That was £100 and I thought that was an absolute bargain. Now moving on guys, so the CPU color we're going to be grabbing. We're going to be grabbing the Corsair Hydra, the H80i. This guys is a water cooling, uh, you know, closed loop cooler which costs just over £71. As you can see, it supports in enough every single socket on the market today. And yeah, it's a nice cooler that will fit in enough any case. And yeah, towards the end of the video you see what case we are choosing. But I thought this was a very, very nice cooler. As you can see, Corsair do make some very nice stuff. These images are not clickable, but as you can see, you're getting, actually, yeah, anyway, you're getting a nice cooler for the money. Two fans, push-pull configuration, and yeah, this can fit in enough for any case. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a nice cooling solution for the AMD uh, processor, because AMD parts can get quite hot. And since this is at 4.7 gigahertz uh, out of the base clock, it's going to get hot indeed. But eight cores for editing is going to be absolutely fucking beautiful, yes. Now for the graphic card guys, fair enough this isn't an actual gaming build but it's always nice to have a good graphic card. So yeah we're going to be going with the EVGA GeForce GTX 760. Nothing incredibly special in terms of performance you're going to get in terms of the gaming but in terms of editing, the CUDA cores really do help when uh, doing the... Well, shall I say, most programs will do something called GPU acceleration and say with Sony Vegas or After Effects will all use um, CUDA cores to the fuller extent to you, well, to enhance your video editing and stuff like that. Just to enhance your performance when you're actually doing the editing part. For rendering, probably not going to be as much of a performance increase uh, in terms of, you know, having this card or not having a card at all. But it's going to help while editing and that's something that you uh, would really want because, yeah, editing will actually become enjoyable with it not lagging or anything like that. Now as for the RAM guys, since it's an editing build, we're going to be going with 16 gigs of uh, Mushkin Enhanced Black Line Frostbite. As you can see there, Frostbite, B-Y-T-E, very, very clever. Anyway, this is two 8 gig sticks. This RAM runs at 1600 megahertz. It's unbuffered ECC and yeah, cast latency is 9 and the uh, voltage is 1.5. The cast latency of 9 is very, very nice for editing and uh, yeah, because it's quite low. Uh, this, this RAM is kind of tuned towards editing and you'll find it to be very, very nice. And yeah, we do need 16 gigs. Uh, 8 gigs will be considered kind of the maximum a gamer would want, but for editing, yeah, you wouldn't want quite a lot of RAM. And I think 16 gigs is kind of the sweet spot for editing. As you can see, you're getting some nice RAM here from Mushkin. You get some um, heat spreaders and it's black as well, which goes with the motherboard, which is quite nice. Same with the CPU cool and everything. Um, fair enough, GPU is silver, but you know, we'll keep it like that. Uh. Now for the power supply guys, we're going to be going with a nice, quiet, efficient power supply. This guys is a Corsair RM750 watt power supply. It's 8 plus gold, and it's also modular, which means uh, yeah, you're only going to be plugging in the cables you want. As you can see here, look, you get all the cables, you plug them into the back just about here. But yeah, very, very nice uh, power supply here. 
One thing that Cross have implemented is the zero RPM fan mode. And even when a fan is spinning, it's a very low noise because of the fact that it's such a big fan. As you can see, nice pass by delivering some nice, clean, efficient power to your rig, with it being 80 plus gold. Now for the case, guys, we're going to be grabbing a Corsair Graphite. This is their 230T. This is a mid-tower case. It's orange to me, it looks red, but uh, it says orange on it. It's an orange windowed case. As you can see, £62. Pounds. You're getting a very, very nice case here, actually. I will not lie. Uh, as much as I do like the windowed cases, the reason I chose this case is because it's got a good airflow. As you can see, two fans on the front. It also has vents on the top. It's got USB 3. All of your audio jack you need. Apple go with. Uh, yeah, very nice cooling. It's got a nice design. All the LED fans and everything. As you can see inside, it looks like it's going to be very, very nice to build in. Moving on, as you can see, no fan at the back. That's where I'll be actually installing the Corsa Hydro H80. That's unless you want to install it on the top. Actually, yeah, install it on the top. You can keep that fan in for air out, I suppose. But as you can see, very, very nice case indeed. Now onto the storage, guys. Since it's an edit and build, we do need more storage. For the SSD, we're going to be grabbing 240 gigs of uh, the Mushkin Cronus. This, guys, is a very nice SSD. I personally have this myself. And yeah, it has actually dropped. Because when I bought this, this was like, what well, I, I believe this was more expensive... Uh, what it is now. I, I I believe I picked this up for £150. I will have to check from my history to see how much it was, but this is a very, very nice SSD. The read speeds on this are 560 megabyte. A 560, yeah, 560 megabyte, which completely smack um, uh, the Samsung ones. So Samsung 840. A lot of people are buying them just simply because their SSDs are crossed a line and incredibly fast. The only bad thing about these Muskin drives is that the 480 gig versions, uh, you know, cannot write very fast, but if you're going with an SSD, if it's 120 gig or 240 gig, grab the Mushkin Cronus. It's a very, very nice, fast SSD indeed, with very high IOPS. This one has 90k IOPS. And yeah, uh, the right on this is found on 25 megabytes. And uh, yeah, it's all good indeed. Now moving on, guys, to the hard drive. We're going to be grabbing a standard 2TB Seagate uh, drive. This is the Seagate Barracuda. It's a standard 2TB drive, but for £53, as you can see here, there, pricing have been decreased. <laughs> yeah, so a standard drive. What is this? Let me learn. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a standard hard drive, fifty-three pounds for two terabyte. You cannot go wrong there at all. And yeah, you're getting a very nice fast drive which spins at seventy-two hundred RPM, sixty-four megabytes of cache, and yeah, it's all good. Just be going back to my desktop, clicking on there. As you can see, this bill came up to £987.53 pence under the budget there. So yeah, you can feel free to buy. Whatever you want to with that um, what's 30 odd quid left, but as you can see, very, very nice build indeed. You're getting some very striking performance uh, from the AMD FX 9590 and also the uh, the GovGuide as well, yeah, the 760. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.